before I use the phone. Oh, sure, Joe. Go ahead. Right now. No, no, you, you don't know me. I'm in maintenance over at Palisades Park. You, uh, you were out here last summer looking for the Emerson diamonds? Yeah, 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 the ones that were stolen. Is that uh, $10,000 rewards a lot for them? Yeah? Yeah, I found them. Be right out here? Good. I'll, I'll be waiting for you in the merry-go-round shed. It's right on the midway. Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Anything the matter, Joe? No, no. Nothing's the matter. We're to close for the winter. The park don't open till next week. This is business. Joe Fasano's expecting me. Oh. Oh, well, that's different. Drive right in. You heard? Yes, yeah, I... You better come over here and sit down a minute. Looks like quite a bump. Did you fall? Oh, no, Mr. Barnett. I... I was passing by here and I heard a funny noise. What kind of a noise? Oh, it was like a gasping sound. I... went in to investigate and somebody came running out and struck at me. That's all I remember. You went in where? Over there, the merry-go-round shed. You stay here. Teal, park superintendent. Who are you and what are you doing here? Joe Fasano called me about 20 minutes ago and asked me to meet him here. You kill him? That's a question that ought to be asked around. Maybe you better call the police and let them do it. Joe! I thought I told you to wait outside. Is he dead? He was knifed. Oh, then the noise I heard and the person who hit me was... was... probably the killer. I wonder if he got what he was after. He sure did. Got what? The Emerson Diamonds. Ever hear of them? Oh, yeah, in the papers. For my dough, that story belonged on the funny page. You? I don't remember ever hearing about them. 
Neither one of you was working here last summer, were you? I don't remember you. Why should you? I was with the insurance company. I still am. Name's Mike Barnett. Uh, this is my secretary, Miss Lawson. This is the first season for both of us, so uh, we weren't here when all that happened. But you don't know anything about Joe Fasano finding the diamonds. Well, somebody in this park does. And that somebody may be still inside the gates. About time you call the police. Close off all the exits. Don't let anybody out. Don't let anybody in except the police. Oh, wait a minute. You ever hear the name Ballin, Harry Ballin? Should we have? Not if you've lived right. Were they his diamonds? They were in his possession when we trailed him here last year, but not when we caught him. Looks as if he got rid of them right here in the park. Why would a hood want to stash hot diamonds in an amusement park of all places? He had to get rid of them quick or get caught with them on him. Anyway, the police arrested him, but on another charge. They had plenty to choose from. Oh, yeah, I remember. When they made the pinch, they didn't find the diamonds on him or on the fence either. No, uh, but either one of them had plenty of time to hide them. Probably right here where Joe Fasano ran into them. Joe Fasano was checking the rides, getting them ready for next week, not digging for buried treasure. Well, and he stumbled over them, just making a routine inspection. horses had rocks in their heads? No, but I'll bet they had sparkles in their eyes. This one has an eye missing, so are the other two. And a cavity in each one deep enough to hold a couple of diamonds. Then if the eyes were put back, no one would ever find them. Fasano found them, and somebody found Fasano. Where are you going, Mr. Teal? Look, I don't own this park. I only run it. And murder or no murder, I've got work to do. Is that okay with you? Yeah, but call the cops. You better get in my car and get on rest. Thank you, Mr. Barnett. I think I will. That's the second time you called me by my name. Do you mind telling me how you knew it the first time? Why, that's easy. I knew you were coming out here, so when you... You knew I was coming here, how? Huh? Well, I... I happened to overhear part of Joe's conversation with you on the phone. Then you knew he'd found some diamonds. <sighs> Let's face it, I'm nosy. Or greedy? What do you mean? Which were you after, the diamonds or the reward? So, is it a crime to look for a reward? Maybe I was hoping Joe would split with me. And if you refused, you could knife him and help yourself to the stones. Don't be silly. You don't think that I killed him. You could have. You could have hidden the diamonds someplace and pretended to find them after a while and collected the reward. You want to see us, mister? Yeah. About? You fellows know Joe Fasano? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Sure, he's a straw boss. He was just murdered. What for? Hundred thousand dollars worth of diamonds. <coughs> you fellows get a full view of the park from up there? Yeah. You see anything unusual? Any strangers come in or go out? Any activity around the merry-go-round? Well, who knows? We just, we just been painting the shoots. Yeah, when you get up there, you don't go looking down. Been up there all morning? Well, I, I did come down for about five minutes to make an important call. To who? What are you on, the cops? No, insurance company. Oh. Well, uh, it's my bookie. See, I, uh, I uh, had a hot flash on a, on a horse. You bet on blind horses? <laughs> no, mostly crippled ones. You get hot flashes, too? Well, it's hard to come down for a bucket of paint, that's all. All right, fellas, get back to your perch. Just don't fly away, that's all. <laughs> you better get back to your office and lie down. That was a bad blow. After the police get here, they can take you home. You're right, I will. What are you going to do? 
Whoever got the brass ring off that merry-go-round is still here in the park. And you're going to look for him? Or her. Well, you don't know your way around here, and I, I feel all right now. Really, I do. I, I could help you. You seem I... awfully anxious to help. You better get on back to your office. All right, Mr. Barnett, whatever you say. I told you to go back to your office, Miss Lawson. But you also told me there was a reward for those diamonds. That's what you're after, isn't it? To ease your mind, I'm on a retainer to the insurance company. I'm not eligible for the reward. Fine, that's even better. Then you help me find them and I collect the reward. You said I was greedy. Miss Lawson, will you go back to your office or do I have to pick you up and carry you there and lock you in? That might be fun, but not very profitable. Neither is a knife in the back, which is all Fasano got. And are you ineligible for that, too? Never mind, I'm going. Ballon. Yeah. The gentleman wins the Cupid down. Okay, Mike, where are the rocks? Let's have them. You tell me, haven't you got them? Would I be hanging around here if I did? Come on, come on, quit stalling. Hand them over. I haven't got them. You're a liar. When'd you get out, Harry? Yesterday. I was such a good boy that they cut it down to six months. You didn't waste any time getting over here to pick up those stones, did you? Only Fasano beat you to it, didn't he? Well, this is where I catch up with everybody. I haven't got the rocks, Harry. Why don't you search me? All right, turn around. All right, I will. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same I can turn on the water and flush him out. Hey, wait a minute. Mm. 
that. You'll drown me. Where were you? Looking for a little friend. I lost him. Now, the police ought to be here any second. They'll flush him out. Unless he's managed to get himself out of there and get by the front gate. I warned the guard. He's armed, too. We better check him anyway. You stay here and keep an eye on that pipe. Right. Hey, help me get out of here. Straight? I sure have. I'll keep my eyes open. If you see anything, just push your alarm button and we'll... What's that? Oh, it must be one of the boys breaking the coaster in. Breaking it in? Yeah, the grease hardens up during the winter, so we have to roll the cars for about a week before we open and get them rolling right. Who makes these tests? One of the mechanics. Is that one of your men? think so. Let's have a look.
some diamonds. That painter was working here just for a chance to find them. Or a chance to find somebody else who found them. I guess that's the whole report, officer. If you need me, I'll be available. Well, for a day at the amusement park, you haven't had very much fun. Oh, I got my kicks. Well, if you'll come back again soon, why, maybe you'll get some more. What's this? Good for one ride in the tunnel of love. Well, thanks, but I don't imagine it's much fun riding alone. Don't be silly. What makes you think you'd be riding alone? Well, that's the nicest thing I've heard all day. but the sovereign state of New York. If you tune in on this same channel next week at the same time, you'll see another exciting case reenacted from my private files. Many of the situations have been fictionalized, but what you will witness will be portrayed substantially as it happened and acted on the spot where it happened. You'll witness what occurred in each case when I was assigned to follow that man.